Hi, it's Gina with another episode of Breakfast with Billionaires. Today's billionaire is Sam Walton. You might know him from stores like Walmart and Sam's Club. And in this book, he explains how he took a five and dime, Ben Frank five and dime store, learned from that, and turned it into a 5,000 retail store across the world. Now, his family is the richest family on the whole damn planet. This is Forbes, and all the kids in here are worth over $35 billion each. All right, when he passed away, Sam Walton, he was worth $65 billion. Now, he actually wrote this book while on his deathbed. He had bone cancer, and he wanted to leave a legacy. Of course, he had his stores, but he also knew that typically, the first generation makes the, makes the money, the second generation saves the money, and then the third generation spends all the money. But he warned them in this book, he said, I will come back and haunt you if you ever sell my stock. So the kids, they listened, and that's why they're the richest family in the whole world, because now they're worth $152 billion. So this is definitely somebody that I wanna learn from, and just like the Breakfast with Billionaires is talking about getting up early, in the morning, and instead of being the first thing you do to check your email or look at the news, spend some time to invest with these billionaires to learn how they created their business. Now, he was kind enough to even have a list, a top 10 list, right in chapter 17. It says his 10 rules for running a successful company. Okay, he breaks it down for you. Now, what I wanted to do is consolidate even more into the three tips so that you'll remember them. But first thing I wanted to mention is that I was at Barnes & Noble. I was in line waiting to check out for this book that costs $7.99. By the way, what a ridiculous price, right, to get so much knowledge for 8 bucks. But I was waiting, and I was going to be buying a bookmark. And I looked at the bookmark, and it was like 3 bucks. And I said, you know what? I'm going to take my dollar, and I'm going to use it as a bookmark okay and the irony of that is that this man the first chapter was talking about learning to value a dollar okay so I wanted to put this like in the forefront as I'm reading the book but he grew up in the Great Depression so just like Warren Buffett is extremely value driven that shaped him Sam Walton as well and he always had his eye out looking for bogus expenses to minimize expenses so that was a huge takeaway. And he said that if you can minimize your expenses, that will also give you wiggle room, right, to implement your ideas because it won't be like a make or break. You have room to test the ideas. If you have tons of expenses, you have like no room to experiment with things. So that's a really good takeaway uh, idea. The second idea I want to share with you is not to be a chicken. This is my visual for you to remember to erase your fears about trying new ideas, all right? And I thought it was very interesting because I've been reading a lot lately how people that are A-plus students, that they have a lot of fear of being wrong, all right? And Sam Walton was a B student, and he was never afraid to try out new ideas. And this says right here on page 50, this is someone uh, who was talking about Sam, and they said that there's two things about Sam Walton that distinguish him from almost everyone else I know. First, he gets up every day bound and determined to improve something, and second, he is less afraid of being wrong than anyone I've ever known. And once he sees he's wrong, he just shakes it off and heads in another, another direction. So my question to you today is, what are you afraid of? What are you being chicken about that you need to try, you need to step up, you need to implement. Uh, maybe it's just asking for the sale. Maybe it's expanding your business. Um, he's asking for a discount for something, whether it be the rent for your expenses on your business. Uh, just get that thought in your mind. And tomorrow we're having a sales meeting and I'm gonna have everyone pass this chicken around and I'm gonna say, what's holding you back from asking this, the customer the question about, you know, to let, tell them about our product. So don't be chicken. The next thing he talked about was being a spy on other people's retail stores, that he would go into people's stores and he would look and he would say, if I could just find one, one good idea I could bring back to Walmart, 
I'm going to do that. So he always had his eye open on his competitors. His eye was looking for just one good idea. All right. And then the next thing he was notorious for was saying that the customer is the boss. All right. It's not about the customer being right all the time. It's not about you being wrong or right. It's about their ability to shop somewhere else and literally fire you and fire everyone in the company from the top down just by shopping somewhere else. So what is it in your business today that you could do to keep your customer satisfied? And I really am truly believing in this breakfast with billionaires idea more and more because I'm reading all these billionaires, how they are always reading. Oprah was, of course, having a horrible childhood and she read books and it helped transform her. Warren Buffett, best investor in the world, reads eight hours a day. Unbelievable. Um, Reed Hoffman is the founder and billionaire that created LinkedIn. And he says that you should take a portion of your paycheck and save it and put it towards investing in yourself, whether it be books, learning a new skill, taking someone out to mentor you, taking someone out to coffee or to lunch. Uh, you need to invest in yourself. And that's what the Breakfast with Billionaires is all about. So I encourage you to spend the money to get the books. I mean, you can go on Amazon and get them for super cheap. And just spend the time every morning to get your mind cranking to think about the ideas that you could implement to bring yourself up to the next level. This is Gina. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And see you later. Thanks.